Dear colleagues, I will talk about this subject, uh, this uh, which is vital not only at Lankens and other localizations. Among one third of patients after previously uh, previous chemo radiotherapy develop local and local regional relapse. This group of patients need a certain method of treatment. Uh, primarily, these patients were non operable. That's why we consider three component scheme either chemotherapy, uh, radiotherapy, or combined approach. What are the difficulties faced by us when we come across a patient with uh, lung cancer relapse after chemo radiotherapy? We have to clearly understand biologically uh, equivalent dose of first and uh, second course of radiotherapy localization of relapse, whether it's in the uh, radiated zone or beyond, interval between radiation uh, courses, the volume of radiation, uh, plant volume, as well as general condition of patient and condition of the uh, organs at risk after first course of radiotherapy. We have to be very careful choosing the mode of fractionation, total uh, dose, uh, fractionated dose. Now there are no recommendations for repeat uh, uh, radiation. Literature has some uh, trials, small groups of patients, and uh, uh, the experience uh, only encompasses uh, well, around 1,000 people during recent 30 years. Uh, here you see the results of some trials starting from the beginning of 2000 when they were using technology of 3D conforming radiotherapy. Then there was stereotaxic radiotherapy, uh, proton therapy. There were precision methods. They received different indicators of overall survival mean, uh, survival rate complications. I will elaborate on some of the trials. This trial made in 2014-2013 includes only 24 patients. Half of them had uh, uh, local uh, regional relapse, 46 new primary tumor. The interval between courses was 50 months. There were quite high doses, around 60 gray, uh, and uh, quite good indicators of one year survival, mean survival rate. In this trial, what's interesting, the, the, so the mean survival rate and dependence on uh, the volume of radiation, PTV less than 300 cubic centimeters survival, I mean survival was maximum versus PTV more than 300 uh, square centimeters. Another interesting trial, uh, this interval between radiotherapy courses, if it was less than 12 months, uh, the mean survival rate was minimal. If more than 18 months, it was maximum around 12 months. Uh, we used uh, modulation of intensity of proton therapy, 27 patients with uh, mean average uh, dose, 66 grade, in uh, values for one year survival, local control were obtained. It was shown that a dose is higher than 66 grade, local organ control and survival with pro without progression was significantly higher versus doses less than 66 grade. This uh, trial has shown the absence of manifested toxicity. The uh, colleagues from Japan started uh, carbon ions in the uh, repeat uh, treatment of patients with the first stage of non small cell lung cancer, 29 patients for a short period of time. Uh, we used the mode of 12 fractions in summary, uh, the total dose 66 gray. The volume of radiation was not high. That's why we didn't expect any manifested toxicity. This trial 
has to be continued. I'd like to share my experience in uh, repeat courses of radiotherapy in our center. This is a patient born in 1931. He was treated because of pericular cancer of the right lobe of the um, upper lobe of the right uh, lung. Then in 2011, he had relapsed. Uh, then radiotherapy was conducted with the maximum dose 6 degree. In 2014, there was rela local re relapse. Uh, our center conducted repeat course of radiotherapy, single dose 2 degree, total dose 50 degree. Here you see a 3D plane of the repeat course of radiotherapy, more than 300 cubic centimeters. Uh, patient uh, tolerated it uh, well enough uh, with esophagitis development of the first degree. Unfortunately, this patient could, couldn't perform computer, uh, couldn't uh, or, uh, have CT of thoracic chest. Half a year after repeat course of radiotherapy, he uh, went through x-ray ex examination. There was stabilization of the process, and now we, uh, and we maintained communication with him. One more patient uh, of 1949, uh, he, uh, born at this year, the central, uh, the central uh, tumor of the right lung, TN and T2 and 2M0, squamous cell uh, cancer, uh, radiotherapy, August 2013, uh, that relapsed in May 2015. Uh, the 3D plan of the first course of radiotherapy, uh, quite extensive volume, relapsed in May 2015. Local 3D plan of the repeated course of uh, radiotherapy. Uh, the tolerant, uh, it was uh, satisfactorily tolerated esophagitis of the second degree was devel developed. It, it was uh, managed to be the conservative therapy. Uh, SCT in two months of the thorax after the repeated course of the second course of the therapy, radiotherapy, minimal signs of radiation related fibrosis, local stabilization of the tumor, then uh, CT in one year, 10 months of the thorax, thorax uh, the um, deterioration of the signs of the radiation fibrosis. Uh, uh, we, uh, the patient died uh, due to the progression of the disease. Metas brain metastasis and bone metastasis appeared. Uh, uh, concluding, I may say that after assessment of main clinical, radiotherapeutic, and uh, dose par related parameters, uh, it's necessary to consider the second course of the, uh, the repeated course of the radiotherapy as effective uh, methods. Of the relap uh, in case of relapses of the lung cancer, uh, we should use uh, the um, better way, better modalities as a proton therapy or with uh, reduced doses and reduced vol volumes. Uh, we have to um, conduct maybe randomized clinical trials to work out recommendations so that radiotherapists, they were not afraid. Uh, and uh, uh, in case of a good selection, in case of relapses, uh, they um, administer, they consider uh, their repeated causes of radiotherapy. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? I think the question, there are questions. Thank you for the presentation. What do you uh, administer to patients to prevent pneumonitis? Uh, these patients, uh, they didn't have pneumonitis. Uh, Long-term 
uh, fibrotic changes in the lungs. Patients didn't receive any specific, any non-specific treatment, just uh, uh, only a conservative treatment of the esophagitis, anti-inflammatory corticosteroids, uh, oil-containing substances, and during the repeated course of radiotherapy, uh, we treated five patients and no uh, pneumonitis. Two patients, uh, they died uh, uh, in six months uh, after. I think throughout the country, we have the experience of repeated radiotherapy in case of the lung cancer. Do you have any internal protocol? What's the policy of your center? The minimal time frame as to uh, selection time of patients for repeated course. Uh, the residual dose, a, a kind of internal protocol. Do you have? Yes, we do have the minimal time frame is six months after the first course of the uh, radiotherapy. Uh, we analyze uh, the plan of uh, uh, first treatment and we um, calculate the summarized doses on the neighboring tissue issues and risk organs. I think you treat uh, you treat not only your patients, but patients who referred from different centers. Uh, did you manage to get the full information? Unfortunately, not in each case so we can obtain uh, the full information. So that I think it's an important presentation. Some recommendations are to be worked out and accepted at the federal level because today the repeated treatment, uh, if uh, we consider this from legal point of view, it's a, it's not a standard now. Uh, just uh, uh, recommend uh, to every patient. I think it's uh, not worth doing. Not to, to every patient. Selection should be very strict. And now we are initiating discussion, but we have questions. I think let's postpone this discussion for the break because uh, this issue is very burning and very relevant. Uh, please, let's listen to Vladimir. Михалыч. PTV 300 milliliters or more. What did influence survival? Uh, the uh, radiation related reaction uh, is, uh, related to high PTV or patient by the uh, die of the disease. Of course, if we increase the volume of radiation, we face more severe consequences. Uh, then, you example, the central lung cancer, 66 gray on esophagus, 58 uh, on the in next, and it's unlikely not to have uh, esophag uh, the stenosis of the esophagus. You are lucky. I think it's uh, it may happen. It's a very difficult topic for discussion. Each doctor, uh, if you see this patient, you are unlikely to make any prognosis. Even after not high dose, you can't say what kind of effect of treatment you will see. Uh, you can't speak about, uh, you can't uh, focus relapses and uh, side effects. Uh, the patients that you treated, in what, in how, in what percentage of patient uh, did you have local control over the tumor during the whole lifetime? And patients died uh, of uh, distance metastasis. Uh, all in all, I, I have five patients, two patients. In two patients, so there was 100 local control. In one, one patient has developed distant metastasis. So the reason for this of another patient, we don't know. And uh, there is a dried, uh, died in six months after the second course of uh, uh, of the radiotherapy uh, due to the progression of the disease. Uh, 
of the total doors in case of relapses? Does it depend on the time? On, on, on the, on the time. Five years ago, I had a patient. Patient had without relapse uh, for five years. In five years, he rela he relapsed. The total dose on, in this situation. Will it be 50 gray? Regardless of the time, uh, it's better to use uh, the more radical dose. In your case, maybe it was a radio-induced tumor. Five years, it's kind of long time. Daniel, in your center, you have the proton facilities. Do you use proton ir 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 irradi irradiation for uh, the lung, uh, lung cancer? No, we don't use because our technical facilities allow us to treat only uh, malignancies of the head and of the neck. Well, we don't have the control of breathing and uh, static beam.